Hey everyone, we're glad you came back to join us, the Groovy Groundwater Group for video number two in our Watershed Festival series. If you haven't seen video number one yet, let's learn about groundwater. Make sure you go back and do that so you have a working knowledge of groundwater. For this activity, you'll need clear plastic cups, or for a plastic-free option, you'll need mason jars or any other clear glass jar. You'll also need an ice cream scoop, spoons, straws, Again, consider plastic-free options. You'll also need blue or red food coloring, vanilla ice cream, clear soda, chocolate chips or cookies or cereal, gummy bears, and sprinkles or decorating sugars. You can substitute whatever you need to so that this meets food allergy needs. The activity will not change at all. Okay, so let's start building our aquifers. First, what we need to do is we need to get our bedrock layer in this clear jar or clear cup. So for that, we're gonna use either chocolate chips or gummy bears. And what you wanna do is you wanna fill your jar or cup about a third of the way full. Like this. This represents the bedrock layer. In Ottawa County, this might be made up of shales, limestones, or sandstones. Speaking of gummy bears, what type of bears like to stand out in the rain? Which type? Grizzly bears. I liked that one, Ben. But we can't keep the people from these sweet treats, so let's move on to our next step. You're gonna take the clear soda, and you will pour it to the top of your gummy bear or chocolate chip layer. This is going to represent the groundwater. Now that we have our groundwater, let's talk a little bit about Ottawa County and its groundwater. In Ottawa County, we have what's called the Marshall Aquifer, and that's where all this groundwater is located here. Unfortunately, there's a clay layer throughout the county that prevents us from drilling down and getting to the water. So, to represent that clay layer, we're going to put some ice cream on top of our uh, groundwater. Alright, so on top of the ice cream, you're going to put more gummy bears or chocolate chips which is gonna represent the unsaturated zone above the water table. All right, and then next you'll take your sprinkles or decorating sugar and you will put those on top of your unsaturated zone and that will represent the soil and grass. So you have officially built your aquifer. So, now that we have most of our aquifer built, we can have a little bit more fun by putting some food coloring in some clear soda. And we'll use this as our contaminated water. So as we move along with the activity, we can see how the contaminated water moves from the surface into our groundwater. So what you wanna do is take some of this water and just gently pour it over the top of your soil and grass, like that. So now it's the fun part. You need to take your straw and you need to slowly push it in all the way down to the uh, groundwater. Now you don't want to poke it a bunch, make a bunch of different holes because you're just going to end up with a cloudy mess. So carefully poke it all the way to the bottom, just like that. Start drinking from your straw. If you have a good seal on your ice cream, you'll start to see the soda below the ice cream, or clay, drain. This is just how our aquifers drain when we pull a lot of water from it. All right, now that you have added the colored soda to the top of your aquifer, and you've taken some drinks, you may see how it comes down here. It's gotten through the aquitard layer, and it has contaminated your aquifer. Um, so that affects all of the people who would rely on that aquifer for their water needs. So that's it. You made your own aquifer. But before you eat the whole thing, make sure you take pictures and you send them to the Ottawa Conservation District on Facebook to be entered to win a pollinator house. We'll see you in video three.
in our next activity. Okay, that sounds good. I think we can make that work. Hey, Lexi. Hold on one second. No, I need to talk to you right now. Can I give you a quick call back? Something came up at work. Thank you. What's up? If we can't see the air, can fish see the water?